What's up guys, Fabled here, and welcome to another video. Now this video is definitely going to be a long video, just want to put that out there before anything, because this video is about the LAW Slammy Awards. Last year, LAW was barely around for 2022, so we didn't have any Slammy Awards that year, but now it's back. Back again. So I haven't written any notes for like what I'm going to say, but I've, I've written notes for the awards though, because I could have used my phone for this, but now I'm recording with my phone. Anyways, so there's one thing I wanted to address before we begin. Uh, Bray said that he is going to retire from 2k So I've talked to Bray and I said that I've allowed him I, Oh, I can allow him to come back to LAW for one more match One more match in LAW and it'll be during this month before he retires on December 31st Okay, let's get right down to business then So here's my big sheet of paper. I'm not gonna tell you the notes on it obviously because you know my notes Okay, so the first category we're going to kick this off with is pay-per-view of the year. Now, in my personal opinion, all of the pay-per-views this year, bar one, were great. And that the pay-per-view, I'll tell you about in a sec. Okay, so the options or the nominations were Rage in a Cage, Independence of War, Summer Fest, Golden Glory, House of Hell, and the most recent one, Bonfire Brutality. But this was a really close one, like really, really close, because... To be honest, all of these could have won, really. But the winner of pay-per-view of the year is House of Hell. House of Hell won pay-per-view of the year. And if I rem remember correctly, that show was main evented by your boy. <laughs> that show was main evented by me versus Sam Kirk in a Hell in a Cell. It was meant to be main evented by Rector Rodriguez with the right stuff, but that match didn't happen. So your boy un unexpectedly took the main event, but it's all good. Now, the runner-ups for this were Golden Glory and Bonfire Vitality. Golden Glory um, included the match that we'll be talking about later. It was Eddie versus Rector Rodriguez for the LAW World Championship in the main event, which was a phenomenal match. And Bonfire Vitality included matches like me versus Sam Cooke versus Dalton Ewing in the Triple Threat for the US title. And uh, it also included Josh Razor versus Class Bar in the main event for the Universal Championship. The only one I didn't think would win was Independence of War, because honestly, that big few wasn't really that good. Okay, moving on. Next, we have LAW Match of the Year. Now, there are about seven matches in this one. So almost any of them could have won, to be honest, because all of these matches were certified bangers. Okay, so the, f the matches we have, the, the nominations are Vladimir versus Eddie versus Josh Razor versus Jason Blade versus Jake Mitchell. In an Elimination Chamber match for the LAW World Championship at Rage in a Cage. Uh, we have Josh Razor versus Anthony Miles in an Extreme Rules match for the LAW Universal Championship at House of Hell. We have Eddie versus Fabled in a Lights Out match for the LAW World Championship at Summerfest. We have Fabled versus Sam Cooke in an unsanctioned match at Golden Glory. We have Josh Razor versus Smokey Joe for the vacant LAW Universal Championship at LAW Rebirth. We have Eddie versus Matt Havoc in a normal match on an LAW taping the 2nd of November 2023. And we have Fabled versus Sam Kerr 2 in a Hell in a Cell match at House of Hell. All of their matches, phenomenal. I remember watching Josh versus Anthony Miles and the finish of that match. That was cold. Speaking of cold finishes, Eddie versus Matt Havoc ended in a very cold way. It was... Oh, chef's kiss that was, honestly. But, um, moving on. Time to reveal who the match of the year goes to. And the winner of match of the year is... Vladimir vs. Eddie vs. Josh Rose vs. Jason Blade vs. Jake Mitchell in an Elimination Chamber match for the LAW World Championship at Rage in the Cage. And I remember that match. I'll, I'll be completely honest, right? This is this is coming from me, right? I didn't expect that one to win. Simply because it, it wasn't actually a Chamber match because so the game didn't want to work. But it was a very good Elimination match. Now, the runner-up for that, the, the match of the year was Josh Razor versus Anthony Miles in an Extreme Rules match for the IW Universal Championship at House of Hell. Which, again, very good match. And the finish, let me tell you the finish. The finish was a top rope razor blade, which is uh, Josh's finisher, through a table. And that, that's what ended it. That was a very good finish. Now, I, I reckon that it could have also been Eddie versus Matt Havoc, because that's like, like, that's like kind of an like underrated banger right there. And, uh, you know, I did put me versus Sam Kirk on there twice. But then again, both of my matches have been absolutely fun. All right. So moving on, we have LAW moment of the year. Now, a big part of wrestling is the moments, right? 
I mean, recently CM Punk just came back to WWE. Randy Orton also came back. I mean, Edge went to AEW a couple months ago. They are considered big moments. So, in LAW, we've had a couple moments ourselves, and um, I'm going to go through them. So, the first one we have is Sam Kirk returns to LAW to cost Fable the LAW World Championship against Eddie at Summerfest, which, you know, kick-started mine and Sam's feud. Then we have Eddie defeats Rector Rodriguez to retain the LAW World Championship and retire him at Golden Glory, which, you know, ended up actually being his last match. So, there you go. Then we got Class Bar's debut promo on an LAW taping of the 19th of October, 2023. Phenomenal promo, by the way. He, he, he was there for like five minutes, speaking his mind, talking shit. And that, that's the thing about Class Bar, right? You could give him anything and he can make it watchable. You could give him the shittest idea ever. And he can turn it into chicken salad. That's a quote of Baron Blade, by the way. Okay. Then we got Right Stuff Betrays Rector Rodriguez. On an LAW taping of the 21st of September 2023. Big shift there. Heart and soul bro broken up there. And finally we got Josh Razor defeats Class Bar to retain the LAW Universal Championship in the main event of Bonfire Battalion. Now again, a lot of great moments there. I could probably name a few more, honestly. But I had to narrow it down to five. And let me tell you from one. Now the interesting thing about this one is that it was a tie. You got Eddie defeats Rector Rodriguez to retain the LAW World Championship and retire him at Golden Glory. And we've got Right Stuff betrays Rector Rodriguez on an LAW taping 21st of September 2023. So, with that one, I want you guys to tell me which moment is better between them two. Because that's the only one that's a tie. The other one's a definitive smack dab, one person. So, just let me know which one was better. Okay, let me move on to my other sheet of paper here. I, I wrote a lot, by the way. I was in there for like fucking almost an hour writing all this. But, you know, here we are. Right. Next category we got, we have got LAW Future Star of the Year. And there's been a lot of new guys coming in. They're kicking ass, taking names, all that fun stuff. And it's been really fun. So I'm, I'm happy that I've been there to watch that. Okay, so the Future Star of the Year nominations, we've got Class Bar, Andrew Omega, Bobby Kingston, Matt Havoc, and Sam Osborne. Now, all of these guys came in during this year. Um, uh, and, you know, they've made an impact. I mean, Class Bar, he's had one match, and it was the main event of a pay-per-view. Andrew Mega, former IC champion and tag champion. Uh, Bobby Kingston, he is doing some shit with the hardcore title. I don't know. Uh, Matt Havoc and Sam, they're about to get a world title match in a triple threat against Eddie on Saturday at Christmas Chaos. Stay tuned for that. That'll be the main event of the show. So, let me just go ahead and tell you who won. Now, I was shocked at this, okay? I was, like, real shocked at this. The winner of Future Star of the Year is Andrew Omega. Andrew Omega wins Future Star of the Year. And the runner-up for this was Class Bar and Matt Havoc. They were really close. But they managed to, you know, come up just a tiny bit under Andrew Omega. So, Andrew Omega wins Future Star of the Year at... Again, he's done it quite a bit. IC champ, tag champ. Those are pretty good accomplishments. You don't, you don't sleep on Andrew. And in a, in a NUW, he is even more of a star there. So we'll see what he does in LAW. Right next, we've got a breakout star of the year. Now, this one, it could have been a lot of people. Because a lot of people have had their breakout year this year. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got Dalton Ewing, the current LAW United States champion. He's had great matches with a lot of people. Speaking of great matches with a lot of people, then we have Smokey Joe, who is very, very underappreciated. Then we got Kai Auditori, the current LAW Intercontinental Champion, came back. He was also tag champion at the start of the year, and also US champion too, so three belts in one year for that guy. And then we got Logan Cross, former LAW US champion, the last one before Dalton Ewing won it from him at Gold Glory. We got Sam Cook, came back to LAW, made an impact, feud him your boy. And, uh, yeah. So, the winner of Breakout Star of the Year, no doubt, goes to the big D, Dalton Ewing. The LAW United States Champion wins Breakout Star of the Year. And, you gotta hand it to the guy. He's had great matches with the likes of Logan Cross, me, Sam Cook, a lot of guys. He's hung with all the main eventers. And... That, that's just a testament to how good he is. And he's he's just like Class Bar too. You could give him anything. You can give him any shit idea. And he can make it good. 
and like Loki, Max Hano is like one of my best friends. <laughs> so like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy to see him getting the appreciation he deserves. And NUW is great, by the way, Max Hano. Just let you know. Uh, the runner-up for this was uh, Smokey Joe and Logan Cross. They came very close, but they weren't enough for the D. So, there you go. Right, next one we got LAW Tag Team of the Year. Now, this one was tricky because there wasn't many tag teams. There's only four that I could think of. So, I'll name the four now. So, we got Heart and Soul, which consists of Right Stuff and Recto Rodriguez. We've got The Kingdom, which consists of Kyle DeTori slash King and Andrew Omega. We've got the Hollywood Heartbreakers, which consists of Dalton Ewing, Johnny K, and James. Then we've got the Million Dollar Promotion, which also consists of Eddie, Jared Woods. Yeah, Eddie and Jared Woods. That's about it. Uh, and the winner for Tag Team of the Year. I was shocked at this, by the way. Like, real, real fucking shock. The winner of Tag Team of the Year is the Hollywood Heartbreakers. They won Tag Team of the Year. And the runner-up was Heart and Soul. But yeah, the Hollywood Heartbreakers came together September 2023, just when Dalton was getting his uh, his start in the divisions. And uh, yeah, they've been kicking ass. They've been sort of Dalton's henchmen. So, you know. And Heart and Soul being the runner-up was actually kind of surprising. They, they were the um, LAW Tag Champions as well. So, yeah. Good for them, guys. I'm, I'm excited to see what they can do. And finally... The, the moment you've all been waiting for. We have got LAW Superstar of the Year. Hey guys, Future Fabled here. Um, so while I was recording uh, Superstar of the Year, my uh, camera storage kind of went full, so it stopped on me. So um, I'm going to try it again, because, you know, it's like the most important fucking category. So, yeah, I'm going to try again. All right, back again. Uh, let's try this again, shall we? So, LAW Superstar of the year one of the most important i'm not, not even one of the most important category in the salami awards now the superstar of the year had to have done a lot this year and these people i am confident have done a lot and when i say a lot i don't mean just like everything out there like not just championships like they've got to have like big moments big matches all that fun stuff so the nominations for this are We've got the LAW World Champion and the LAW Hardcore Champion, Eddie, who's had a great year. He's had a great 2023, became the Hardcore Champion when LAW came back, he won the LAW World Championship twice, probably more times, I might be miscounting, I don't know, but he's had a great year, and he retired Recto as well, so he has that under his belt. Then we have the current LAW Universal Champion, Josh Razor, who's had a great run as champion, by the way. He won it on the Rebirth show against Smokey Joe, and he's held it ever since he's defeated guys like Anthony Miles and Class Bar. Then we have Rector Rodriguez, who's also had a pretty great run this year. He was the IC champion for about five days. <laughs> I mean, he held it again, so that's all that And uh, then he had that five-star match against Eddie at Gold Glory, where he had to retire. And what a way to go out for the guy, because, you know, Laddie's also another one of my, my friends, so, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see him actually go out on a good match because uh, he deserves it. All right, then we got Right Stuff, who is very much associated with Rakdo. Uh, this year, Right Stuff did quite a bit. He won the LAW Tag Team Championships. Uh, I don't think I don't think he won any singles titles, but it's fine. Don't hit on there. He might have. I don't know, but we'll see. But uh, he turned on Rakdo, turned heel once again. The match didn't end up happening, unfortunately. But it is what it is. He had a pretty great year. Then we have Jason Blade, who was around quite a bit towards the start of the year. Uh, he won the IC title. Had bagger matches for Rector Rodriguez, by the way. Fire matches over the IC title, which Von Magnum was for some reason involved in as well. Who cares, though? And, uh, do not know we're wasting time. Let's just get right to who won. And the winner of Superstar of the Year is... The King of Hardcore, Eddie. Eddie wins Superstar of the Year once again. And uh, the runner-up for this was surprisingly Recto. So, there you go. Recto had five votes, with Eddie having six. And what a great year for Eddie, man. Um, he he's always seems to be in the the top of the card. He always seems to be there. So, you're good for the guy, and he has a lot more going for him, because he might leave 
2023 as the LAW World Champion. That's if he could get past Sam and Matt on Saturday. And he also has a hardcore title match coming up Saturday against Michael Rush too. So stay tuned for both of them. He's pulling double duty that time. So yeah, there you go. Now, there is one more thing I want to address. Uh, that is the LAW Hall of Fame. Now, the LAW Hall of Fame uh, is only for the people who have really put in the effort, who have really showed that they belong. So that is why I'm going to eventually announce who will be in the Hall of Fame class of 2024. And trust me, you will like the names who are involved in it because it will be phenomenal. Now to wrap up this video, I just want to talk about how proud I am of how far LAW has come. It may not be like how it was in 2K20 because, you know, we've gotten older, you know, we have more to do than we did in 2020. But I'm happy that most of you guys have adapted to the whole scripted thing. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with how LAW's been this year. I've actually enjoyed it and I'm not dealing with piss heads. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm proud of all of you guys. Uh, I'm proud of uh, Eddie, proud of Recto, proud of... Still cold, proud of Mexicano. Proud of all the guys who at least made communication, sort of. And not just complaining for the sake of complaining, you know. I'm not going to name names on who did, but still. And um, yeah, here's to a great 2024 for LAW. And um, I hope it goes well. This Saturday, December 16th, Christmas Chaos. Don't miss it. This has been Fabled, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.